Well, God bless you. This is your friend and brother in the Lord, the Reverend S. Willis Walker. Thank God for you. We're grateful. Today is a Saturday. It's a nice day. It's warm outside and things are going great. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done for us. And I'm thankful I've had a fruitful day. I was able to pay off some bills that I had. And the Lord blessed me in a miraculous way. And I'm thankful to him for what he's done. Uh, tomorrow, today is Saturday that I'm doing this on. But tomorrow, I want to encourage you to get to somebody's church tomorrow. Uh, but above all things, do attend church. Don't take your religious freedoms for granted because there might come a day you might not have them. And you wish you could go and can go. Uh, we must stand for our rights. Freedom is not free. And it costs you something to keep them. You got to always be prayerful and be mindful of what's around you. And so, you know, you're invited to come to our church. We, we're located at 4242 East 54 Terrace. I don't know why in the world people always call me. They call me when, when, uh, they call me when I uh, get ready to get in the car here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we uh, want to thank the Lord for you, and we appreciate you. Um, we located 4242 East 54th Terrace right here in the great city of Kansas City. And we start at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. Our morning worship actually starts at 9 a.m. And then we start Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock. Which eventually I'm going to move back to 6:30 at night because we have we have dinner from six o'clock to seven. Those of you that want to come by from after work, uh, but some people uh, they uh, we try to have them out there by eight o'clock that night. And so I want to uh, thank God for you, and we uh, love you. We appreciate you. Uh, we're doing a great thing, and the Lord's doing a great work in our ministry. I, I'm making a I'm making a comeback from a major setback last year. Uh, you, as many of you all know, I went in the hospital last year and almost died again. But the Lord was able to bring me back. And I, I and uh, I, I want to do I want to do all I can to try to make things good for the Lord and glorify his name. One thing I want you to always remember is that no matter what you do, no matter what capacity you serve in in the body of Christ, I want you to make a. I want you to make a note that, excuse me, I want you to make a note that's all about God. Whatever it becomes about you, that's when you're in trouble. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of our people have done over the years. They made the ministry about themselves, and that's dangerous, especially with our young ministers. You know, that comes a certain amount of training you got to have. You got to be anointed. You got to be called to that work. You got to know where your work is, where your work is called. And, uh, you know, everybody's not called to be a bishop or a pastor or some people are called to be evangelists. I was talking with a young man uh, just a few minutes ago before I came on, on here. And he was telling me how the evangelistic field is, how bad it's gotten because you got people that don't want to be fair. <laughs> And uh, they have to, you know, do certain things. But nevertheless, you know, I want to thank the Lord for for uh, for uh, His goodness. Um, let me let me say this, and I, I'm, I'm, I want to invite you again. We start at nine o'clock in the morning every Sunday morning at nine a.m. and we're there. We just pray you will come by and share. Um, many prayers have been hindered. Uh, many prayers are not where they need to be because we uh we have uh we've taken god for granted and we're not praying uh the model prayer was found i believe in the gospel of john 17 but the model prayer is found in matthew 6 and uh i don't I mean you all know our father which on the heaven how be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us a day our daily bread Give us our trespasses. We forget those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil for the eyes of the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You know, I, I knew it by heart. We sang it. We we chat on Sunday mornings when we do the, the you know, the opening. Um, 
But let me uh, let me say there are four things that I want to run by you that help us with our prayer life. Whenever I pray, the first thing I do is I go into my prayer life with thanking God for what he's already done. Thanking him for all what he's already done. Let me tell you something. If God don't do nothing else for me, he's done more than enough. I'm telling you. When you've been through what I've had to go through, my 40s was my trying years. Uh, you know, being shot at, four, at, at 41 years old in the stomach, and, and I actually flatlined on the operating table. Then um, to go through a situation where I get in a bad car wreck and almost lose my life, they gave me a 35% chance of living. I stayed in a nursing home for a whole year. I was out the pulpit for a whole year in the church. And then this last incident that happened. And um, um, last year, uh, uh, November of last year, of 2022, um, you know, I was I was on my way to the deathbed again. And, and if I hadn't listened to the voice of God, if I had waited and made about a week later, I would have been dead because I was doing really bad. There must be a prayer life. I thank God for what he's already done. I thank him for all, what he's already done. Then I want to declare who he is. He's my savior. He's my Lord. He's my king of kings, my Lord of lords. He's everything I ever wanted in life. Nobody, nobody, I don't care if I got a wife or a mother or a father, whoever, nobody comes before God. Nobody. And I make that declaration to him every time. I said, Lord, you know your, 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 your place in my life. And, and I'm telling you, I, I, I do it. Then thirdly, I express, um, I express my desires, and I want my desires to line up with His desires. You know, uh, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it does in heaven. I desire to do what he wants done and not necessarily what I want done. I want my, I want his desires be my desires. And then fourthly, I wait on him to manifest what it is he, he's doing in my life. I obey the Lord as Charles Stanley say, and leave the consequences to him. I asked the Lord to give me a, uh, a lot of things, and some things didn't come the way I wanted them to come. It came in a different form. It came in a different way. And you got to be okay with that. I'm okay with that, you know. But I, 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 want, I want you to know that there's the four things that need to happen. And when you learn to get in the way of his will, he will bless you beyond what you could ever imagine. If the saints would ever get the revelation of what the word of God is and not just be familiar with quoting the scripture, they could make a large impact on this world. You wouldn't even have so many broke people in between our pews on Sunday morning. You know, the church would be suffering financially. A lot of churches are suffering financially. They're embarrassed because they don't have the money they need because you got saints that got in their way and they're not in God's way, including my church. So some people just, just don't that they don't get it, don't want to get it. I'm good with that. But now don't don't be blaming God when you living in poverty and not doing well. But things are not well. They have an average mentality. That's why I'm very careful about who I run with, who I listen to. You know, if your friends are broke and you broke, why are you on the phone with them? Why are you eating with them all the time? What can we do? I look for ways to enhance people, and I want people to look for ways to enhance me. That's what a relationship is. Not just being stagnant and just not growing. But when you grow, you grow in the grace and knowledge of God. And so I, I just wanted to leave them four things with you today.
Tomorrow, if you will, if you will, beloved, get in someone's church tomorrow morning. Make it, make, make it a priority. We we in the sixth, seventh month of the year, and this year is going by really fast. Make it a priority that in your house on Sunday morning we are going to church. I'm not talking about online. If you're sick and shut in, I understand. But if you're physically able, get up every Sunday morning and make it a habit to get to somebody's church. Now, bear in mind, the devil's going to throw the kitchen sink and everything he can at you because he don't want you. He don't want you to be blessed. He don't want you to be. be uh, he doesn't want you to be uh, blessed. He wants you to stay in bondage. And you got to be willing to get past it every Sunday morning. It's not a requirement, but it should be. It should be a requirement in your house like it was in my house when I come up as a kid. And uh, don't miss church on Sunday morning. We going. You don't miss the job. You don't miss it. Uh, what's that woman named Taylor Swift was here in Kansas City over the weekend. And people people paid thousands of dollars. Now, listen, the economy is going bad. But the cheapest ticket at the concert was $1,100. And the stadium was jam-packed. You see what I'm saying? It's by priorities. People got to the stadium four hours before before the time of the concert. When are we going to do that at the house of God? When are we going to get to the house of God before service starts? You know, be doing broadswords and serving uh, root beer and not beer, but root beer. <laughs> but I want to I want to encourage you today, tomorrow. Make it a priority to get to somebody's church tomorrow and hear the word of the Lord. And don't forget to leave an offering. Amen. If you if you're not if you're not tithing anywhere, if you're not giving anywhere, you can give to our ministry. You'd be glad to receive it. The number below is right there below. You can subscribe to this page. You can call that number. You can give on over the phone, and somebody will take your information and run it through for you. And uh, we're looking forward to. Uh, being blessed in the Lord. I'm getting ready to go get me a little haircut and get ready for church in the morning because I'm expecting God to do a great move tomorrow in tomorrow's service. I must go, but I want to encourage you if you want to get in touch with me or any of the staff members. Now, that email you see below is the email I only read. I only read that email, but the email that goes to the staff office that everybody can read is. Focus for Life Group at AOL.com. Focus for Life Group at AOL.com. We come on the radio every Tuesday and every Saturday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. www.kprt.com. Hit the listen live button, or you can, if you're here in Kansas City, you can listen to me on the radio 106.1 FM, 1590 AM. And you want you to be blessed. I must go. My time is up, but I look forward to seeing you. Let me have a word of prayer with you before you go. Our God and our Father, we thank you. We adore you. We love you. We kneel down before you. We worship you. You alone are worthy, and worship is in honor of you. We ask, oh God, you look down upon these people today. You are our Father. You are our God. You are our King of Kings. You are our Lord of Lords. We thank you, and we declare that your name is above any name in our midst. And I ask, oh God, you look down upon these people who have, who have done, who have done what they're supposed to do, who have listened, who have honored you, petitioned you, you in prayer. And we ask that you bless them in a miraculous way and that their desires will become your desire, uh, uh, your desires will become their desires and that they might follow your will for their life, that they might be prosperous and they might do good and you will be glorified, the saints will be edified, and we call it done in your name. We pray, thank God, amen. Don't forget to sow your seed, uh, get online, sow your seed. Uh, the Venmo app is Focus for Life Group 1616. Focus for Life Group 1616, or you can call the number below and you can give it on credit card, or you can bring it by the church. All right, we must go. God bless you, God keep you. We trust pray we'll see you tomorrow at church.